And also a new guest, you're allowed to say hello now. If you want, of course, you can just, you know, do what you want. It's a free country. This is UCS Hellmaker, and I'm just here to be an asshole, probably. But I'm hoping we're all gonna enjoy this. <laughs> I thought I was the heel. <laughs> ah, well. Ah, well. Oh, you typed in chat, Randy Savage is here. Did you know that last time I had axed to Randy Savage soundboard and never stopped using it? Oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it was. was it just snap into a Slim Jim endlessly? <laughs> no, it was mostly Bonesaw is ready and a million percent and everything basically. So much good Randy Savage stuff. Oh, that sounds like it... it Honestly, I've been watching the WCW uh, pay-per-views, and that's pretty much all they are. <laughs> well, like that was kind of the era where I got into wrestling, more or less. I watched it before sometimes, but that's when I was in my teens and started watching. And I then started hating wrestling somehow, and then I got back into it and started hating it again, and now I'm back into it. It's kind of a weird cycle. Yeah, that's pretty much how it was for me. Got in on the Attitude Era, watched it again in uh, 06 when Cena started getting big, and then they pretty much fell off the face of the earth. The same pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's our matches for today. And our main event. A tree and some black and white dude will defend the tag team champions. Against a Star Wars guy and Cad. Or Face, as he's called. But first up, here's... A regular scheduled Buskus Brawl to determine who's the worst ever. And we can see if we have that magical twerking incident happen again. <laughs> I mean, it might happen. I know why it happens now, so I could make it happen intentionally if I wanted to. But it didn't intentionally make it happen, so. Anyway, here's clearly the worst guy going going down the ramp into the ring. Truly the most worthy Buskus champ we've ever had. Ever. I just love the belt. I need it I need this job. <laughs> well, it's the chopper belt, so makes sense. And here's just gotta snap my neck before the match starts. <laughs> yeah, and, and here comes Lotus as a punishment for angering the cosmic bunnies. He's never gonna love that one down. Oh, I can see through his throat somehow. That's a... Uh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Jeez, I, I think he should go see a doctor about that. Don't worry, guys. Lotus isn't gonna twerk again. This is a safe environment for people who are, like, afraid of asses. I think. I'm not sure. He was almost in position for it, though. Anyway, let's go. Straight out the oh, gate. Oh, right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right away, he just started <laughs> running that, beating the shit out of him. Uh, good ol' Luthas Press. And that's my signature move already. Your character's just mean, isn't he? Well, it's not a character. I mean, it is, it is. And I think Lotus has already given up. Yeah. Yeah, that was my finisher. Welp. Seriously. <laughs> Rest in peace. I, I think he was throwing, though. At least that's the only explanation. 
He didn't even get a punch in. I <laughs> know. He just straight up, like, died. For real. He's dead now. He's not gonna come back. Yeah, really, that's the first squash match I've seen in a while. Yeah. I mean, squash match is actually a mechanic in this game. Uh, it sometimes happens arbitrarily. It happened. Just here. It's just... It's a thing that happened. Iggy needed to make a new spot for a new wrestler, so he just killed Lotus on stream. <laughs> I mean, we're not out of slots yet. <laughs> I think. I don't know how many slots actually, there are. Xan actually has a point. Lotus's next match is going to be against Dr. Ham. <laughs> okay, let's make it happen. The show is booked live on stream. And here we have our, our Black's champion, Nadira, who's very happy with her new fashion accessory. But since she's appearing in the scene, you know what this means. And of course, we all know that Black's uh, belt is evil. It's black after all, and evil things are usually clad in black. And red. Like Nadira. Who is clearly a heel. Despite not being a heel. Isn't everybody a heel in this faction? <laughs> or in this, uh, this uh, promotion? I mean... No, not quite. There's some faces here and there. It's just they, uh... They don't do very face-ish stuff, usually. Alright, let's hope this doesn't go as one-sided as uh, the match last week, where Nadira basically killed Rara. Already starting out strong, and okay, that didn't really work that well in the backstage. <laughs> uh, well, f physics makes sense in their own weird way, sometimes. Ouch. Nope. The table got used. Yep, straight against the card. And inside the locker rooms, in the freaking trash can, straight to the face. Actually, not to the face. But I swear it hit something. Yeah, it looks like Konami has this. Well, she just ate the chair. <laughs> just straight up stomping and then kicking to the face. Clearly, this is a face. Yeah, this is another squash match, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Taking up, picking up the chair, just throwing it right back down. Oh, there we go. See, she gets moves in. As she's supposed to. And as she uses that uh, high heel to beat the shit out of Gnome. <laughs> Konami. And the knee. The trash can is clearly the MVP in this match. Oh, I was almost a Hadouken. Just got interrupted. The trash can and that locker is actually our MVP for the match. <laughs> they should start a tag team. Ooh, that was her signature. And she actually got it off, as opposed to Konami, who is a token just straight up didn't land. Yeah, but she didn't capitalize on it, though. Well, 
you know, maybe it's gonna happen. And we're back in the locker. <laughs> and kicks to the face. Now the vicious doll. This is actually fairly, fairly balanced now. Yeah, it's going pretty well. I just wish that TV would break when someone's thrown against it. I actually thought it was going to there for a second. And the lockers again. You know you can't do that. You're going to blow out a quad. <laughs> uh, and still wrestle the match because you're an idiot. Oh, that was a Hadouken. That actually hit. But she's back up and starting to kill again. And back in the locker. Oh... This is actually a uh, context sensitive finisher we just saw. And Nadir is dead. Konami, Konami just won by beating the shit out of her with the locker. Hmm, yes. Yes. The locker truly is the MVP. With like a super kick combo into the locker, holy crap. No, our first real match. Hopefully this won't be a squash. <laughs> it's three people though, so it should be fine. Yeah, I can't. It it'll probably go about as well as the ladder match from last week. Uh, and, and here comes Fruity though. He moved up one spot in the card because he won last time. That's that's the entire reason he's in this now. I just noticed his entrance movie, and I'm loving it. <laughs> well, he is all but hugging. <laughs> so it does make sense. Hug life. <sighs> yes, I'm gonna take y'all to Hug Town. Let's see how that works out. How many hugs can he get off in one match? Dr. Ham takes him and gives him a hug of his own and breaks <laughs> his back. <laughs> uh, yes. Ooh, DZB uh, just said that Fruity will be undefeated in this season of LPFWA. Living the true hug life. Well, let's see how it goes on this match then. Well, if he loses this one, we can still say he's undefeated in singles competition this season. Because, as we know, singles matches are the only ones that count. Wait, isn't Toad like a foot taller than than uh, him? Oh yeah, probably. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> uh, he's also real American. You can tell from the music and his salute. And that he's wearing, uh... Yeah, he's wearing red, white, and blue. That's, well, wearing. He has, like, red hair. Or, uh, I... It's a mushroom cap in kayfabe, okay? Which Dr. Ham will take off his head to eat. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's the source of his height. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't know if his height is with the hair or without. But he's still huge, compared to these tiny men. Oh, and here comes Dr. Ham out of another Goldberg locker room. Who knows how many there are. It really should have the Goldberg security guards ex escorting him to the ring. That only happens for Goldberg, though. For some reason, if you give someone else a Goldberg entrance, it just doesn't happen. 
THQ or THQ uh, programming right there. <laughs> <sighs> well, too bad THQ is dead. I wonder why. Oh, there's now a sign. the others are just circling the the ring. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's while, a sign uh, that says WCW rules. <laughs> For some reason. Since this is like set in 2027, WCW has been dead for a long time. <laughs> Dear God, he is a foot taller than them. <laughs> He's huge! Like, you couldn't see it uh, last time he fought because he was up against Skier, who was also pretty huge. But... Yeah, Toad is, is is a big boy, a very big boy. Toad's just waiting for them to beat each other up. I mean, that's a smart move, probably. Now he's taunting the crowd. Very nice. He's just going out of the way. How clever of him! Oh, now he's getting involved. Now that Fruity's trying stuff. That was an elbow hug right there. That was a ground hug. Toad's just pushing, <laughs> pushing him away from his hugs. <laughs> I don't know. He, maybe he doesn't want to be hugged. Maybe he doesn't want to cuddle. It appears not. Yeah. Like, meanwhile, Fruity doesn't even want to fight. He just wants to, like... Like... Cuddle people, hug them real close, and make them fall asleep while they listen to the beat of his heart. And Dr. Ham just gave Toad a new uh, facial surgery. Oh, uh, actually, it looks like Dr. Ham was hugging free there. Who's the most proficient in hugs, though? With that lag. Right now it looks like Dr. Ham's cleaning house. Dr. Ham's being the chiropractor, the chiropractor he likes to be. This is a double appointment after all. And Toad's a back out. That's not a rope break at all. Isn't that a special move you need to have now? There's automatic rope break too, but... I don't know. I don't know. Like, I gave everybody the rope break skill anyway. Just in case, but it's weird. Wait, did he just try to suplex Toad? Maybe. We'll never know what he tried. Hey, Fruity, what did you just do? Did you try to, to hug him somehow? A suplex hug? Oh, that works, though. Double DDT. Yep, and Toad's out now. <laughs> oh, that was his finisher. That was the uh, Spinal Cracker. And what? Fruity's probably done for the night. Nope. Still going. That's almost the Spino Cracker. A bit different, but I don't know. I thought for a second Fruity stole his finisher, even though he doesn't have that skill. Now I'm gonna taunt while Toe takes over for me. <laughs> oh well. And now Fruity's out of the ring. Dr. Ham's going back to cleaning house. He's trying something big. Never mind, he's getting the boot to the face. And a double axe handle to the face. 
Oh, this is uh, the FU2. Actually, never mind, it's getting reversed. <laughs> Pretty good matches tonight. Well, the first one was a complete squash. <laughs> the second one wasn't even scheduled, and that was an interesting Wait, move. wait, wait, what did this just happen? <laughs> he just hugged the air and suplexed it. That's the next level stuff right there. Oh, he tried. Oh, we're he, going for the. Oh, he, he tried. He tried. But it got reversed. And now, after reversal, he's getting pinned. If he'd lost that, that would have been embarrassing. Like, a loss after an attempted hug. I thought we were going to have a bear hug finisher right there. Well, we had that last time. Uh, I just love where Fruity just sat Ham up for Toad just to go taunt in the corner and then, oops. Well, that must have been her. Well, next time don't do that when Toad's back. I like that he just... just hit Fruity so hard against the turnbuckle that he rolled out of the ring and then he tries to go pin Dr. Ham who's been down for a while. Dr. Ham with his finisher. And a one, and a two, and... Oops. I think Ham's got this under control, more or less. Never mind. Now yep, it's there's free. Fireman Carry to end that. Oh, I, I thought he was trying to, like... Oh, blood, blood! Ooh. Snake eyes to end the match. <laughs> now the the fabled butt hug. <laughs> now we twin we uh, pin Toad, who's been just sitting in the ring for a while. Ah uh, well. And it looks like he was trying to wrench the mushroom cap off. Old Toad certainly isn't lacking in high impact moves. He's what, a mix of Cena and Big Show? Uh, the Ultimate Warrior. Like, originally it was supposed to be Cena and Hulk Hogan, but Hulk Hogan's not in the game. And neither is his moveset, so... I just had to mix and match the Ultimate Warrior and... Who's that guy? Yeah, Cena. That was almost a fall, and we almost no-sold that. I can't wait for this to end in a hug again. At this point, I'm wondering if it even ends. <laughs> I mean, triple threats have the potential to last really long. Every time somebody gets momentum, one of them reverses it and then everything stops. Well, Ham is bleeding at this point, now he's getting the boot to the face, very classy. Just what it always Looks like wanted. Toad's going for a pin. One, two, nah. Oh, people certainly are kicking out. Oh, he just... He just threw Fruity onto Dr. Ham, and now he's doing it. Wait, was that part of the f special finisher? His finisher is the FU2 that he just did. Like, he threw Fruity onto Dr. Ham, and... No one was standing in the end there, I might add. They were all down. Including the guy who made the pin. 
Yeah, that was kind of weird. I didn't know that the game would do that like Cena would, where he's pretty much crawling to cover him. Well, that happened. Don't worry, Fruity. It's 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 a multi-man match. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. You're still undefeated in singles competition. There's a lot of Dr. Ham beating everybody. Well, yeah. He's also bleeding. Look at how huge he is compared to the ref. <laughs> He's got about two feet on the ref. Ah, well, I was a match, certainly. And now we have a match for the Bunny Championship. Where the Majestic Goldman makes his long-awaited debut. And he gets a title match right away. Because that's how things work out sometimes. Does, the or does he wear the horns when he's in the ring? Oh yeah, he does. Please say his finisher is a headbutt. His signature is. His finisher is actually the uh, MGM. Or as you might know it, a cutter or RKO. Ah, uh, so like a diamond cutter. <laughs> yeah. Bunny goats. I, um... Uh, I think... I, I haven't checked, but I think the game won't let me do that, because... It has weird restrictions in place sometimes that make no sense. It just yeah, like... the vine's got a point. <laughs> oh yeah, but I I also like that um, Goldman has this clash of styles going on, wearing the suit and the mohawk and the horns. He looks honestly like he just dressed himself out of everything that he thought looked good. Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe that's what happened exactly. And a Saints Row character. Yeah, I can see that with a like a uh, purple shirt under the suit and the purple hair. But here comes our champion, wearing the ever stylish bunny belt, which he won last time after beating up Lotus. Though not as hard as I beat up Lotus today. Lotus complained to you, so you had to take care of him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Well, a bunny tail exists in the game, but the problem is, if someone's wearing any clothes, it gets squashed under the clothes, and it's barely visible, if at all. Yeah, it has to be tights, pretty much, for you to even see it, and if there's a shirt, it overhangs on top of it, too. Yeah... That's what the belt says. And all those, uh, all that stuff, the accessories that go on your back, they're only, you're only able to have them for entrances, I saw. During the matches, you can't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Which is why, um, Emperor Palpatine looks the way he does. <laughs> and here we go. I'm gonna shit on the belt! <laughs> uh, I hope that every bunny champion has that uh, animation. I could give it to them, just deliberately. I could. I could do that. Maybe I, I should. I think you already have. I Not intentionally. 
just kind of worked out that way. It's an intimidation move, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, these turnbuckles will be very afraid. Look, they're having the hug out. Rudy would be proud. Ref doesn't like it, though. They're just gonna stay hugging the entire match. Well, yeah, they're uh, in a pretty solid chain wrestling right now. Oh, just oh, I thought it was he was doing a deadlift move, but it was uh, Katira Arecho count uh, countering his whatever it was. And well, that was a counter too. <laughs> that that hurt. <laughs> that, yeah, that hurt. It was supposed to be a hurricane runner, I think, but then it turned into power bomb. A power bomb that just slammed him straight into the ground. Yep. Goatman has a lot of power moves. Oh yeah, of course, he's a Goatman. Goats are very powerful. I think. Like, I didn't fact check this, but... But I think. Dropkick straight to the face. Yeah, he's gonna need facial surgery tomorrow. Maybe he was kicking his horns, though. That would hurt uh, him more than hurt Goatman. All I'm seeing is Dr. Ham getting a new patient. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. was a weird flippy flip that happened there at the end of that submission. Yeah, it's like he dropped him on him to get pinned and then had to kick him out. Maybe I should give every bunny champion the same moveset. <laughs> Just to get bouncy as fuck. But nah. That would work. Nah. I need to give them all um, Lotus's movesets so they can all do the dab as well. I'm not gonna do that though. I'm not gonna. That's too lazy. Yeah, like, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I need to be allowed to be lazy. Ah, this is gonna go outside the ring now. I like the crowd just counting. I like the crowd not really giving much reaction. <laughs> well, they try. I think that was six. Yeah, I think so. It's really slow. Uh, that's normal speed for, for, uh, for a count. All I know is that they're faster in Japan, but in Japan they also count to 20 instead of 10. And oops! MGM out of nowhere. Yep, it's done. <laughs> Turns out it actually is. And now we have... The Majestic Goatman. With the Bunny Championship belt. Around his waist. Which means the next week he's going to have some form of a bunny move and probably be twerking on the belt. <laughs> I don't know. 
know. Maybe. Uh, I know. I know. There we go. He's proudly holding up the belt. The wrong way. Kinda. Yep, real glad he's holding it the wrong way. It fits. Yeah. Maybe he can, like, wear it upside down and it's gonna be the inverted bunny championship. He is a heel character, it would work perfect then. Too bad I can't make him do that. Would if I could. Hmm. That guy looks familiar. <laughs> it's our old friend, the El Chad. Like, he did this before, it didn't work then either. But he's, um, very dedicated to staying in character, so I can appreciate that. Sounds exactly like Dash. Yep, my supply of boost is entirely gone. No wonder Iggy is just so mean to everyone. <sighs> yep, completely sober right now. Oh yeah, Dash also stole the coffee, which... And DCB was out cold. She needed a copy, uh, coffee transfusion. But yeah, Dash Render will compete for the Buskers next week, and hopefully Lotus won't just die again. Because that would be embarrassing. I think Lotus is just making the making a stipulation where he's going to go out every match and just lie down on the ground and die. Skier determination. Of course, we pit our chopper against the new guy. Then again, Skier really isn't a chopper. He just pretends he is. Skier is facing somebody that dresses like Jason from Friday the 13th. Well, he's a mix between Jason, The Undertaker, and... Casey Jones from the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I think. <laughs> There's like eight different gimmicks in here. We don't know which one is, it, is the right one now. It's Maybe it's multiple. Just kind of mashed together. Hoping it somehow works. And of course the sacrifice posters in the in the locker rooms. Come on. Samoa Joe and Scott Steiner, the best match of all time. <laughs> I think I think Samoa Joe didn't even show up to that one, didn't he? Or was it it was Steiner who didn't show up, right? I don't even know. I never watched it. <laughs> I just rem <laughs> remember the his math. Of course you remember the math, because normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, there's a 50-50 chance of winning. And... We had Scott Steiner in the previous LPFWA, and they changed his entrance music to that promo. Because... Because... <laughs> it's the best promo of all times. 
<laughs> Scott Steiner's promos always are. Between that and fat asses, he's never gonna top them. Uh, no, yeah, no, Scott Steiner. Th that's just, I know, I know. I probably need to uh, show everyone the Steiner Math promo again at some point because it's magical. Then him and Rick Steiner right before. Uh their match with Team 3D and Scott Steiner just telling them they're fat asses <laughs> multiple times. Ah, uh, oh, Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner. I wish he'd still wrestle, but... I don't know. He actually wrestled in TNA, I think, sometime this year? Oh, In, like, the last he? couple months, and it's absolutely horrible. Oh, he was horrible at the end of WCW already, just doing, like, he, the same move over and over. No, I'm talking, like, he went to do the match and could barely actually lift the guy up. Well, I suppose he's getting old. But hey, here we have a match. It looks like, uh, like Skier's Chabon, all right. Yes, Zephyr. TNA, the, pretty much the promotion right now that is paying people to go watch their tapings. I Honestly, it's a miracle TNA is still alive at this point. Like, it should have died multiple times, but it somehow didn't. Well, right now they're relegated to Canada and they barely make enough to actually tape anything. They've also rebranded like three times in the last year. Yes, and they were uh, Global Force Wrestling, and now Jeff Jarrett has basically... Um, yeah, he's in rehab. Uh, well, well, well. Anyway, TNA is depressing. Here we have uh, some guy throwing another guy against the railings over and over. It's uh, quite fun. Jason slash Undertaker slash who the hell knows is beating the shit out of an alien. <laughs> yep. And pinball attempt already. Oops, not even a one count. I'm not jobbing this match. <laughs> Will Skier's never jobbing. <laughs> he's just, he claims he's a jobber. In the first season, like, his tagline was actually, I think I said this already, but his tagline was, um... That he insisted he's a chopper despite having a perfect record. He's lost since a couple times actually, but maybe he's gonna chop this time. Maybe well, he's. If he jobs, uh... he's already destroyed his leg, though. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's a a chopper to the stars actually. Maybe this is a star. We'll see if. Uh... If D the Destroyer, as he's called, is actually a star. If he wins, he is. If he loses, he's just some guy. And yeah, we have some Friday the 13th music in the background. Or at least a remix of the music from the NES game. And that's... Ow. That's a flapjack, yes. And now, are we gonna see it? The Canadian Space Program? Because that was his uh, signature move, actually. Oh, yeah. How was it? Skier must be dead now. He's yep, never gonna kick it. out of that one. He's dead. I'm not jobbing this match. <laughs> His legs vibrating though, so that's good at least. I have to be honest, I forgot what- Oh wait, I remember what Skier's finisher is now. Skier really likes that taunt.
Oh. That's uh, a hangman's neck breaker. He's got to deal back all the punishment he's been taking. Well, he's trying at least. Right now, very successfully. And another one? Is he gonna do like the uh, four rope massacre? If he does, he's won the match by default. Oh yeah. I think he just stomps gear in the crotch. But he's an alien. Would he actually have genitals to kick? I don't know how aliens work, but, you know, I'm just going to assume that they have some way of reproducing. Not for long. Yeah. Looks like it. Oh, is he going for it again? Looks I, like it. I think he is. I just really want to give a guy a... a corner finisher. <laughs> Three. And he wins. And he just did ma a massacre in that match. I guess that means he's, uh... He's a star now, because he beats Skier. Because Skier only chops the big guys. Skier's starting off the off the season with a little loss. I mean, he, yeah, he lost last time as well. He's, uh... Yeah. So far, he's, uh... He's true to his gimmick as a chopper. To the stars. We can't be all, all be winners in this game. <laughs> I'm glad it shows all these near falls, but not the actual successful pin attempt. I like the music though. Really fitting with his Jason uh, gimmick there. Please say if he has any backstage uh, conversations, his whole thing is just dot, dot, dot. He never speaks. I mean, I'm not sure if that's actually his gimmick. <laughs> what you know of him right now is that he's brutal and vicious and evil. Clearly, there can't be good in him. And hey, now we have two debuts at once. Taldy versus uh, Valerie Easton. A ripped ass kicker versus some goth. And what better music <laughs> to use for an entrance of a ripped ass kicker like Talvi than, than that. That's what she requested. Oh my god, her tagline. Yep. She's also wrestling the Greco-Lesbian style. <laughs> it's the gym class all over again. Well, let's see if it works out like that. Well, there she comes. With the, like, uh, pentagram on the chest. Yeah, that's actually surprising that that was in-game. Yeah, it's a part of a, uh, a, a top, and I had to, like, combine it with the dress. 
Otherwise, it wouldn't look nearly as gothy. Her hair does not look right at all. Neither does the way her, her dress floats. She can turn off the electricity! I actually thought she was going to go for Kane's gimmick. Well, maybe she likes uh, subverting expectations. Is this a table match? Oh yeah, it's a tables match. There's going to be tables. And we're starting off with atomic drops. And I'm just standing there holding Tolvi's hair somehow. That's exactly how you win matches. Oh yeah, it's gonna go outside. That was a mean hit. I wish they'd just stay outside for a bit longer. Nope, just coming out to bring the table in, and then we're going back in. <laughs> and backed out. Yeah, I think Paige wore that uh, pentagram top at one point. But I, I'm not sure. But I think so, yeah. I didn't actually watch WWE when Paige was around. That's got to be newer than like 09. Uh, yeah, like 2013, 14 ish, maybe a bit earlier. Wasn't that when, pretty much when the WWE uh, women's area was pretty much just neutered? Almost nothing good in it? Yeah, I think she was not NXT originally or something. Like, she is credited with, like, starting the women's revolution. Or, like, one of the people who started it. Because he was actually kind of a decent wrestler. Yeah, they lost a lot of talent and didn't have anybody good for a long time. Well, right now it's looking pretty good, though. Not for Val, though. She's uh, kind of getting dragged around. Yeah, she's gonna eat that table, it looks like. Uh, maybe the table's turning. That was a shitty pun, I'm sorry. It wasn't even intentional. <laughs> Wrestling is nothing more than puns, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> well, yeah, basically. Also, wrestling is an anime. It's an American anime for male women, male men. They're just kind of repeating the same spot right there, though, like ten times. Oh no, something's happening. It thought something was happening, but it didn't. But she sure just repeated she, atomic drops. She sort, of, she's, yeah, she she sure likes to do that. She started the match with it, even. I just realized Goth Girl is like a foot tall, a foot shorter too. Yep. Like just just going from the looks, it's kind of surprising that uh, Val can even lift Talvi. It really is. It's also surprising that she just loves the atomic drop so much when it really doesn't do that much for women. <laughs> yeah, Zephyr has a point, but... Yeah, there's none, her, there's none lift moves that they have. But they have like four of those. You could have done any of the other three. <laughs> and the non-lift moves... The atomic drop should not be part of that because that's lifting her up. Mm, technically, yes, but you know how this game is well made, right? Yes, I do. Hmm. 
Ooh, deadlift gut wrench. Suplex. Nice. I've come to the conclusion the PS2 games are better made than this than the the network or these ones. Uh, maybe? Kind of. I mean, the PS2 had Here Comes the Pain, which is clearly the best. And the table just teleported there for a little bit. That's just what tables do. And yes, taunt right now. That's a good time. Twice! Twice! It's like she's stalling for a time. It's almost like this is actually a work. <laughs> and Tolly was taking a little too long. It's almost like a TNA match when the refs aren't in position. Yep. Had to smash ten times against uh, a soft part in the corner of the ring. Ooh, Talvi might have a plan. Is it a good plan, though? This might be it. Um. Yeah, it was a good plan. <laughs> Immediately, the song just just ruins it all. <laughs> it's great. I love it. It's the best song for her. <laughs> it is. It is. Like she she looks really imposing and dangerous, and then spooky, scary skeletons. It kind of really uh really makes it all better. <laughs> It tops off the end of the match. Yes. I was kind of hoping she'd get voted into the Asuka match, because she's wearing a, a recalled version of Asuka's mask. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. So, next up, there's our uh, main event, which is the uh, CoCom Championship match of Kylo Ren and Face, accompanied by Palpatine, versus a ghost and a tree. This makes perfect sense. <laughs> the tree is honestly my favorite character. I know nothing about him other than the fact he's a tree. Well, what else do you need to know about a tree? He's a tree. And there's Palpatine. Yep. Just hanging out. Here to ensure that his boys do the right thing. I just love the glowing eyes. Yeah, that is a nice touch. I like they can make shit glow in this game. But I'm afraid some people might overdo it. But there's one wrestler, if he comes back, I will make all of his attire glow. And that would be Sore, who was the Neon Ninja, who actually lost a lot last time, but that's why we liked him. Here's Palpy. Palpatine in his bathrobe today. Yep, hyping it up. The Palpatine dream. DCB, I think that actually worked for The Rock and a few other wrestler, a few other wrestlers. Yeah, it, it's surprisingly not that bad a move, except if you're Bray Wyatt or Roman Reigns or Roman. Well, yeah. Then again, nothing is a good idea for Roman Reigns anymore at this point, except maybe rejoining the Shield. Whoops, he did that. 
or just not appearing on pay-per-views for a while because he can't he isn't cleared to wrestle. Uh, he I think he's cleared again. I think. I'm not sure. Here's Kylo Ren. Who's not some weird kind of loser or anything. Supreme Match Lord. Coming into really good music though. It's a song by Cell Dweller, which is obviously kind of a a remix slash cover of the Imperial March. Well, Zephyr, maybe uh, Palpy can give you giant robots. And yes, uh, Kylo just used a trampoline to jump into the ring. He needs a trampoline to force jump. But hey, now it's time for the real stars, the ghost and the tree, to make their way to the ring. Oh my god. Yep. That's perfect, though. Normally, the screen would turn black and white in this entrance, but for champions, you can't do that, unfortunately. He has to wear the belt because he's the champion. Well, maybe, you can't remove it in entrances. Maybe the belt is wearing him. Maybe the belt can just float like that. I, I just really like that the Godfather's entrance fits in so well. Oh, that's who this entrance is. Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe you couldn't tell because it doesn't have all the women following him around, but for this entrance, it's probably for the better. No, that's perfect. Yep. Here we have a tree. <laughs> Fucking Christmas tree song. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It's good, isn't it? I'm glad it worked out that way. I'm glad that you can import graphics from your computer into the game to give him the tree bark texture on his entire body. You actually put quite a bit of effort into this. Actually, it was quite easy. <laughs> That's not the problem. You just have to upload it to a site and in the game that you put it on him. The rest they did was just uh, give him these weird leaf-like things. Even his tights have the texture. <laughs> they're not tights, th they're skin. <laughs> like, the only thing he's actually wearing are the gloves, the weird tree things, and some underpants. That are also tree textured. I guess he does have wood apps. Ah, oh, yes, but here we go. Our first COCOM Championship match for the season. And if you want to know why I paired up a ghost and a tree, it's because it's the most ridiculous pairing that I could think of. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yeah. But I can. The Edge Lord Supreme. And a SWAT cop with a gas mask with glowing eyes defeat a ghost and a tree. Maybe they're in luck. Maybe Palpatine the tree is gonna help is ultra him. heavyweight, isn't he? Oh, he's uh, as heavy as it, as he can be. Is he also as tall as he can be? Like just like like Wolsey here is is like normal sized. Now look at how tall the tree is compared to him. Actually, Haunted Forest is a really good name for the team. I'm gonna remember that. We have a new stable name. Yep. I mean, the other guys are called Aura 66 because that's still a thing from last season. But now we have the Haunted Tree, uh, Haunted Forest as a as a new team. 
Great. I struggled to come up with a name. Which is why they came in separately. Which is good, because we've got to see Wolsey's entrance. And the Christmas tree song. How can a ghost touch a guy? He has that much anger in him. <laughs> he claims he's not a ghost, though. But everybody knows the truth. Yeah, this is how Elvis is... Ace made. Yeah, what's your question? I was just gonna wonder, what is he doing? <laughs> just stuff. Like, just stuff kind of things. Well, the ghost is putting on quite some offense. Yeah, face is not doing too well right now. <laughs> well, Cad, uh, if you remember correctly, what happened in Season 1 is that your AI left Mecha Prime alone in the ring and left him to just lose the match. What happened in Season 2 was that... Um... I controlled Dash Render and made him not help you. That's what I did. Because <laughs> I'm. Kind <laughs> it makes of a me wonder what he did to piss you off. <laughs> Nothing really. It was just kind of a a legacy choke. Oh, just somehow he's touching the referee now. I gotta say though, like you can't see it right now, obviously, but from the tests I've done, Kylo is really fun to watch in the ring. He's some got some good moves. Especially like his finisher. Which you'll see eventually, it's the Star Killer. I was actually wondering if you guys just made Kylo Ren really weak. <laughs> nah. Like, I don't have the heart to do that. I keep everyone at around the same level. But that doesn't mean anything, because what decides winning most, apparently, is like, I don't know, the, the moveset? Uh, which shouldn't make much sense, because technically, all the moves are the same, except in animation, but... Oh well. Yeah, that was a big difference. All the moves have the same, same strengths and effect on your opponent. There's just no difference. It, like, there's a difference in which body part they target, but that's about it. And some, yeah, of them, the only... yeah, some of them are more powerful than others, but they usually have some drawback. Like, they do less damage to to other limbs, or no damage to other limbs. And hey, look at that! Face just punched the tree in the face! <laughs> tree got dazed from getting a punch. <laughs> yep. And her Karana! <laughs> Who else can claim to have uh, done a hurricane rana to a tree? Successfully. Ooh, Disca's elbow to a tree too? That's new. <laughs> Standing moonsault to a tree? That's also new. And the tree just combat rolled away now. That's also new. And the tree has a pile driver. Yep. <laughs> well, we found our next match next week. We did! We actually did, yes. Well, DZB has a point there, but... You know. They attempted a hot tag, but it didn't work. Now it's a normal tag instead. We still remember the glorious times of uh, 2K14 when... When hot tags were bugged and never worked. That's fixed now, because hot tags are completely different. Wait, so you'd go for a tag and it wouldn't function? Yeah, the tag would work, but the hot tag animation wouldn't play properly. Like, they, it was a quick time event, and the AI always failed it. 
Jesus Christ. Except and Palpatine just threw a chair in. Oh yeah. That's something he does. Randomly, it'll probably never get used. The Rack will also never see it, probably. He's just looking the, the other way. Oh, 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 oh! Nope, nope, Ooh, there it goes! That's actually new! That's actually new. Palpy distract. That's actually kind of. I like that. Palpy threw in a chair, then distracted the ref, so the chair could be used. Let's hope it wasn't a coincidence. Let's just hope that that's something that happens always. Oh, the ref removed the chair just in time. <laughs> and kind of throws it against Wolsey. <laughs> um. Oh, that's his finisher, the Hangman DDT. Dead. I mean, he's already dead, he's a ghost, but you know what I mean. He's not even he's trying not going to pin. For a pin. He's just going to... Oh, nope, there we go. Uh, yeah, no, no pin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that move is called. Was that a swinging backbreaker? I think... Maybe. Perhaps. Oh, it's like a... That was weird. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, the ghost took one finish already. And then he attacked the balls of face. Oh, hot tag! There we have a hot tag. And Kylo fucks it up. <laughs> like, it's not a fixed animation this time, it's just a, a buff that they get until they miss an attack, and he missed his first attack. So. Um, yeah, that's a thing. At least now he's not missing anything anymore. That would be embarrassing. The ghost just wants to stay in the ring, doesn't want to tag in. Yep. Like, the tree was in before, though, so at least we know that his AI is smart enough to tag sometimes. I think he just wants to kill Kylo Ren. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't like the Ruby soundtrack. Ooh, this could be a tag move. Oh, never mind. He was trying to tag there, but he couldn't. Ooh, yes, yes. Sunset Flip Power Bomb. I like that move. And some spooky Castlevania music. Since there's a ghost in the ring, you know. And also an animated tree, so yeah. I think a tree was a Castlevania monster. <laughs> the once. tree just dropped away when he went <laughs> for the tag. Uh, actually, he did. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the haunted forest isn't gonna happen after all because the tree doesn't want it to happen. Oh, there he comes! There he comes! Trying to to save it. Trying really yes, hard. Yes, but Palpatine, said, Palpatine uh, distracted the ref. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened right there at the same time. Well, that's his finisher. The I forgot what it's called. I picked a move that has a lot of like physical contact because the finisher has the word physical in its name. But I forgot what it's called. I feel bad about that. The ghost hug, yes, that's it. That's clearly it. Oh, actually, this is his finisher? No, it's not. What's this? Well, it's a reversal. That No, it's not. Huh? I don't that understand. That was that backbreaker he has. Yeah, like, they, they don't always do the wake-up taunts before finishers. Just... Fuck. I need to check his moveset now. Oh, he's just rubbing <laughs> Kylo's face slash mask against the ring. I think the ghost just did an eye rake against a guy with a mask. It's funny if that even works in this game. <laughs> it does. Oh yeah, standing moves off. Yeah, Zephyr has a point. The ghost does not seem to be tired at all. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure how being a ghost works because I haven't died yet, but... Oh, this might be his finisher, the Star Killer. 
This might be him waiting on, on the top rope. Oh, there it is! Yes! Yes! That's a star killer. Just a freaking backflip and a stomp. Ow. <laughs> but to no avail. Oh, face finally got back up. Now the tree is dead. Like, the tree died after a single move. That's kind of impressive. Oh, is he gonna go for it again? Yes, apparently. Uh, just a... A splash or cross body or whatever. Just stand there all nonchalantly, it's it's fine. Oh, but he's going for it again? <laughs> is this it? Is he doing it? Is he? Oh, that's the third finisher Wolsey took. Like the Hangman CDT from FaZe and, and two Star Killers. He's been in the ring for most of the match. <laughs> he has been, yes. He the has, get there has in time. to be it. Oh, there, oh, the tree comes. Never mind. <laughs> he just started <laughs> walking away. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, it's just, oh man. That's kind of great, actually. But uh, nice way to make a debut, I guess. Just, yeah. Just doing his finisher against the same guy twice. <laughs> oh, go ahead, end the match. Yeah, exactly, that's, that must have been it. Yeah, he climbed in the ring and it's like, you know what, no. I'm uh, done. I'm yeah. done. Oh, we have new new Colcom champions now. Aura 66 is climbing back up the ladder. But now we can't do Dash Rendar versus Kylo Ren next week. I mean, we still can. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. Oh, that scene is kind of perfect, honestly. Like, just the Imperial March playing while they hold up the titles. Palpatine's not in the ring, though, to hold their hands up. Oh, Palpy's too lazy for that. He's kind of a dick, you know. He's sitting off to the side with a beer. <laughs> uh, now, next up, we have our, our special match, actually. Helena versus Asuka, the undefeated Empress of Tomorrow at NXT TakeOver in Las Vegas. Here comes Helena to Finn Balor's entrance. It's a champion versus champion match. I think it's one of the longest entrances in the game. Except yeah, it actually just seemed like nothing was happening there for a while. Yeah, like it's it's Finn Balor's entrance. It's like supposed to have this like creepy like heartbeat sound at the start, which is why the light is flashing in that manner. Finn Balor's really good. I love him. And the blood stains on the ramp. Oh yeah, those belong there. This is a champion versus champion match. At this point in our weird canon, Asuka is still the NXT champion, which at this point she actually vacated. Like in, in real life, she vacated it, but you know how things go sometimes. Yeah, for some reason, Nine Gear Crow is is posting an episode title in the Discord instead of Twitch chat. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But now we have two episodes. It's nine games. gear. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... He's responsible for Palpatine, which is good.
Oh look, the entrance is almost over. I think the only entrance that's longer than that is, uh, is Shinsuke Nakamura's. Which is really long for some reason. Even though he's just walking to the ring while gesturing weirdly. <laughs> okay. It honestly seems like yeah. it seems like a WrestleMania entrance with all the stuff going on. Oh, it's his demon entrance. Like he only really transforms into the demon form for pay-per-views. Ah, I understand that. Yep, he's a normal guy most of the time. Oh, and Crow explained why he's not uh, in the Twitch chat. He's too late to sign up. Good on you. That's actually a legitimate reason. If I had to sign up again, I wouldn't. And here comes Asuka, which a, with a much shorter entrance. And I think my bottle of clearly non-alcoholic beverage is almost empty. That's kind of sad. It's the only way to watch these. Get drunk as shit. Well, see, I'm not drunk yet with this thing. Like, you wouldn't know this probably, but in the previous season, I took a, a sip out of my drink for every suplex in a match. There were 93 suplexes. And I died in real life. No, we're talking uh, actual shot glass worth of stuff and not just a bottle of beer, right? Like, no, 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 not beer. I think it was um, a vodka at the time. Or whiskey. I'm not sure. Just a sip oh, of... You, you poor bastard. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty hot car that way. Alright, here we go. This is the big match. I mean, it's not canon, but... Maybe I decided this, who knows. Ooh. Helena is just starting to push Asuka into the corner. To uh, start dominance. Now Asuka's doing the same! Clearly, these two women are on equal footing. Yeah, we can already see how this match is going to go. <laughs> you know, Asuka is just... Oh, she's rolling out the ring right away. Very nice. After the first move, it's almost like Asuka is really strong or something. <laughs> that was uh, a missed grapple. Laying a hold of her own right now, actually. Yep, and uh, very viciously so. Looks like Asuka's just at it again. It's still early, maybe Helena can turn it around. Maybe. Just maybe. Or maybe not, because this is Asuka. And you know how Emma dominated her for an entire match? And then Asuka won, and hey, a dropkick into nothingness! Nice! Nice job, Asuka. Proud of you. Yep, just stomping on the hand. That's a, that's a move. 
Not all the moves in this game can actually be good or actually photogenic. I mean, this is wrestling. Like, all a move needs to do is to look like it's brutal or stupid. Or both. There was one move that's in this game where you get clothesline, the guy picks you up, clotheslines you again, picks you up, and clothesline you again. Yeah. That's good. That's probably like uh, one of the rock's moves. Because that's what the rock like to do. Or Okada, if it's like a wrist lock lariat that he does. Hey. I don't know. I just couldn't believe it. The move took like almost a full minute to do. Uh, maybe I should give it to somebody. Well, for the time being, at least, it looks like uh, Helena has the upper hand. Oops, just as I say it, uh, never mind. I think she still has the upper hand. Yeah. Right. It's, it's a lot of back and forth right now, actually. Yeah, it's just reversal after reversal. Oops, that's the signature, I think. And the finisher. Going for the green mix. Yeah. Wait, what was that finisher? It's a uh, I or a bite. Hold on, I have that in my weird ass spreadsheet. I think. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm looking up finisher. It's it's the forehead bite. I think it just doesn't really look like it because because yeah. I'm not gonna question it. And repeat. I don't know how you do multiplayer in this game with how the reversals work. I mean, I did multiplayer with with someone once online with latency and everything. It kind of worked. But, you know, latency is real bad in this game. Ooh, that's her, her signature, I think? Lip attack, the face, yep. Well, this might be done, then. She's not going for the finisher, though, like the Asuka lock. Or is... no, she's not. Or is she? No, she's just pacing around the ring, apparently. Oh, okay, now she's doing it. Oh, reversed, though. Helena does not want to lose this match. Nope, she doesn't. And the running lack drop, nice, real nice. I, 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 Helena's doing stuff. Ooh, another signature. Might go for a finisher next and be. Nope, never mind. I think that was a reversal, maybe. Yep, usually when they reverse a finisher, they try to pin because the AI is really fucking stupid and thinks a reversal is a powerful as a finisher. But, you know. Oh no, this is the finisher, the forehead bite again. Or a main course as That's it's called. It. Two. Nope. Not against Asuka. Two finishes, not enough to put her down. Uh, that's that's a move. And well I'm glad it finished with repeated headbutts. No, this is clearly a different referee. This guy's black, the other one wasn't at the oh mana. That was a dirty pin. She wants to win the match any way she can. Mm -hmm. One and one count. One count. Okay. Like, not even a two count, just one.
Ooh, that was supposed to be her, like, signature move again. She's just not letting her hit it. Nope. Like, it hit once, but... That's about it. Oh, are we gonna see a... Oh, we're gonna see a top rope move from Asuka. Superplex. Yep. Just taunt. Don't pin her. Just taunt. Oh, I think Asuka's back in the game. Yep. Yep, she is. <laughs> she is. Back in the game. Nope, I'm done. I'm gonna relax for a bit. <laughs> oh, this game sometimes. Making it interesting for the fans by standing here doing nothing. Yeah, I'm very... Oh yes, just wait for the fucking signature again! Oh, fucking hell. The AI broke. Uh. Oh my goodness, I have no idea what's gonna happen. That looked like it was supposed to be a move Asuka was doing, but she didn't. Looks like it was a reversal for a finisher again. Maybe. Oh, it's just a two count though. After Helena kicked out after one, after freaking one. It's kinda... nuts. Asuka didn't get in the finisher yet, though, didn't she? I don't think so. Yeah, because her finisher is like a submission hold. Yeah, there's been no submission holds. Well, oh, she's that's the blue in her face four times. Yep, that's the, the signature again. And are you gonna see it? No, she's trying to pin. Okay, that's fine. At least it was a two count this time. Oh, oh, that's it. That's the Oscar lock. Yep, this is probably done. Oh, she fights out of it. DCP managed to do the same thing somehow, but she... DCP, like, the match didn't last as long. Oh. That's her other finisher. The Mandible Claw. <laughs> With Poison Mist, yes. And here we go! The Empress of Tomorrow oh. doesn't work today. She chops. Helena won the match fair and square. Yep. Asuka's defeated. After being like... After beating Goldberg's winning streak and having like the longest recorded title reign in like the, the, the modern era. With like 500 plus days. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, that was unexpected. It was a long ass Helena... match too. Yeah, Helena took did everything possible to win, including trying to cheat with the ropes. And in the end, it somehow worked out by, like, spitting yet more poison into Asuka's face, and then like, choking her with. Something looks like the mandible claw. But anyway, yes. that's it for today. It just fade to black very slowly. Very, very slowly. And here we For are. the same length of time as the entrance was. 
Uh, uh, actually, I think the entrance might have been significantly longer. <laughs> but maybe next time I can uh, make the fade as long as the entrance. Good idea, really good idea there. Ah, but anyway. I think it's time to say goodbye once more, as the screen is black right now, and nothing can be seen, and nothing will show up. No, I'm not faking you out, this is the end again. So, uh, any last word from you? Nope. This is all fun, guys. You guys have a good night, though. Yeah. Let's all hope that Asuka is still living and not dead. Actually, let's all hope Lotus is still living and not dead, because he has a match next week. <sighs> oh, well, anyway, have a good day, or night, or whatever. See you next time.